Welcome to this week's video. So this weekend we've taken a drive up to Loch Lomond in Delilah 7 and we're staying at Loch Lomond. So yesterday we arrived at about 2 o'clock and just had a massive relax. It was lovely. No rushing about. We just set the van up and chilled for the night. Today we've driven out to Glencoe. Um, you know, it's only an hour-ish away from where we're staying and just now the colours are still incredibly beautiful. We've got some lovely oranges, yellows, browns and an absolutely stunning reflection at the minute. So we've parked the van just over there and walked down to the edge of the lock. So we've come around Kinloch Levin and just tried to capture these autumnal reflections, these trees here in this water with this sort of stone embankment that curves around with the pap of Glencoe just in the top of the frame. It's lovely, really, really nice. The water's nice and calm. There is a little bit of um, leaves sort of just coming, just sort of floating down, but it is absolutely beautiful. For this shot, I'm on F16, two seconds on the shutter and ISO 64, and I've dropped in a 0.9 medium grad. The sky is quite bright. The sun is just sort of peeping through the clouds just ahead. But I'm hoping that these re reflections are gonna come out lovely. It's really, really nice. The, the cloud just clinging to the pap of Glencoe there looks amazing on the back of the camera. It's so quiet. Okay, so just going to try and make the use of as many compositions as possible from this spot just while we've got these reflections. So I've put the camera into a vertical shot. And again, just sort of a very similar composition, um, but using that curve with all those lovely trees with the pap of Glencore there in the background and it is such a lovely shot so it's very simple you've got just the reflections of the trees in the water and it sort of I've placed almost the bank in the center of the shot but it's just really lovely you know it, this weekend is unexpected really. Um, we knew we was going to Loch Lomond but to come up to Glencoe is an absolute treat. Around as well there's absolutely beautiful colour on the birch trees and again we've taken a couple of shots just as we pulled up. Um, so again you've got in the middle of this lock just here there's a little island where you get little uh, geese um, that go on. I can't see any at the moment. But the reflections again from this area here into the lock are incredible. So I might try and take a shot there. I feel the only thing that's missing is some light. We've got beautiful re reflections. We've got beautiful color. We've got some beautiful cloud and a beautiful scene, <laughs> but just missing probably a little bit of light. Um, there is a couple of little fish that just keep making those little little rings as they come up to the surface on the water. <sighs> what more could you want from a weekend? Okay, so this is the little island here that's just in the middle of the lock. And again, on a vertical shot, what I've tried to do is just capture these reflections. So there's no separation from this side of the lock, but if you walk further round, You've got that view all the way down the lock with this little island in the middle that's absolutely glorious. But I think today, or for the next maybe half hour or so, I'm just really trying to focus on the reflections and the colour. So again, I'm on a vertical and I've actually gone F5.6 on this shot just to try and give the trees on this little island a bit of separation from that background and what you have also got on this shot is that background scene reflecting as well as the trees so you've got the browns um, of the, 
the grasses across the and then that island's still quite green so it's um it's a bit contrasty could just literally look at it all day all day long so i'm on um a 5.6 ISO 64 and 1.6 seconds on the shutter and just use that polarizer just to try and bring a little bit of color out as well um, there's not really any foreground so to speak but there is some rocks that are just around this this side here so we might go and have a little look there and just see if we can find anything else around that side and if not we'll probably head back to the van maybe head back towards Glencoe and, and take a look round there. So we decided to come down to Loch Bar instead and um, the light down here is so much better than as we were driving through Glencoe. So still running with a bit of a theme in terms of reflections. So currently in the loch we've got the absolutely beautiful sky with the nice white fluffy cloud just reflecting. We've got this cluster of trees here just on the embankment that are reflecting. And again, what I'm trying to do is just pick out some shots focusing in. So I'm on 70 mil there, just focusing on this tree um, on the left with the reflection. I've done a wider one, just sort of incorporating them all on that embankment. There is some grasses in this foreground that I'm just debating whether to keeping the scene or removed. So I've taken one without and I'm going to take one with. They are quite nice because it does give a little bit of foreground interest just in the bottom right hand side uh, of the frame. The light across on this range of mountains here, um, it's sort of, I think because the lights behind the mountains we're sort of getting some silhouette. Although when we first arrived uh, they, they were quite nicely lit so we did grab a quick shot. But I think we will maybe see what we can find around here. We've probably got, I don't know, maybe 20 minutes or so before we need to start heading back and get back to our pitch. Today has been absolutely fantastic just to spend some unexpected time actually in, in Glencoe and sort of Rannoch Moor. Hopefully as the sun just dips, maybe in the next, I don't know, 10 or 15 minutes, we might just get a little bit of softer light it is quite harsh at the moment. The wind has picked up a little bit. So even though we've got beautiful reflections, there is a little bit of ripple on that water. I'm not going to break out the, the 10 stop or the 6 stop because I think it just gives a little bit of extra detail in the scene, uh, in the water. But yeah, it's lovely. I mean, who wouldn't like to... <laughs> spend the weekend around Glencoe and Rannoch Moor and just the freedom of, of having the van this weekend has been superb. We did book onto a site but sort of wish that, that 
not that we hadn't because it's been absolutely lovely but just have the freedom a bit more of moving around and that's probably something that we'll do next time we come up so i'll show you the shots that i've just taken and then we'll maybe just see if we can get around it is very very boggy and saturated underfoot so i'm not sure how much further we'll be able to get round but i'll pop the images up let you have a look and we'll see if we can find anything else Okay, so our short and sweet video uh, today. This weekend has just really been about coming away in the van. Um, mm. Totally, absolutely unexpected treat <laughs> <laughs> um, to get the opportunity to come away for two nights and it's been lovely. Yeah. So the photography today has just really been about just enjoying it and not putting too much pressure on ourselves. Couple of nice little shots, um, but just lovely to be here. Hope you've enjoyed it. Hope you've enjoyed our quick um, look around Glencoe and Rannock Mall. And we'll see you next week. Thanks very much for watching. Take care. Adios. Adios.